start with the line for uh, white. So e4, knight f6, that's the Alekhine defense. And now if we want to cover this opening for white, and what line would I recommend? Of course, we don't want to cover knight c3 move, second move, or d3 move, or some kind of f3 move. Or there is also bishop c4 move. That's, those are not the moves I would recommend. What I would recommend to go the main line, which is pawn e5, knight to d5, and pawn to d4. And here, uh, only two moves for black that make any sense. Those are pawn d6 or knight to b6. Now, the line I recommend you to play, for the line I recommend to play for white here, this move order does not make any difference. Because the reason sometimes they don't play d6, uh, they prefer to play knight b6 first, it's to eliminate some variation like bishop c4 or uh, um, some gambit lines. So, but if you play on d6 or knight b6, c4, then only move that will make any sense here for black, if they play the knight b6 and we go c4, they have to go d6. And if they go d6 first, then after c4, they go knight b6, which is 100% transposition and identical positions. So what white will do here, will play e takes d, and uh, obviously taking with the queen is not a good idea for black because white will go c5, and now in order not to lose a piece, black has to go queen e6 check, then white goes bishop e2, and after knight d5 and knight f3 weighs uh, no, white is way ahead in development and queen on e6 makes no sense at all. So only move, only captures that will make any sense here for black are e takes d and c takes d. So let's start with e takes d. Now there are several ways for white to continue developing in this uh, position. There is move knight c3, which is most popular move, bishop e7, and uh, one of the ways to, for white to play is bishop e3 and continue queen f3, it's one of the newer continuations, which is okay, but line I want to recommend is the easiest line and quickest line to learn, and I think you will feel more, more, more most comfortable using it. Bishop d3, after bishop e7, black castles, white plays knight e2, and suppose black plays knight c6. Now, here we have to concentrate on a couple of things. We have to keep an eye on our c4 pawn. Now, c4 pawn is very important to know that c4 pawn may be a target. For, for example, if white plays castle here, which we can do, now black may play knight b4. And black is attacking d3 bishop, so black wants to play knight takes d3, which will make their life a lot easier. But knight takes d3 they don't play because white plays bishop b1. Now after white plays bishop to b1, black cannot play knight takes c4 because then white wins after a3 move, attacking the b4 knight and when b4 knight moves either c6 to a6 square after queen to d3, you see the double attack attacking knight on c4 and the pawn on h7, 
white uh, simply wins a minor piece in the game. So this is very important to know. In some cases, um, this knight before may be a threat. For example, bishop f6, black may play bishop f6, and now black may be attacking our d4 pawn. Now, black is so-called threatening. Maybe they are not threatening, but they're intending to play knight takes d4. And now, bishop e3 move is a serious mistake. Because on bishop e3, black can play knight b4. And after bishop b1, they will play knight takes c4. And now a3 move is not nearly as effective. After knight takes e3 and pawn takes e3, knight simply moves back to c6 and black has an extra pawn for no visible com compensation. So. That means we still have to keep an eye on our c4 pawn, and meanwhile d4 pawn is hanging. So what we have to play here, the reasonably good move is simply pawn to b3, and if black tries to play knight takes d4, knight takes d4, and bishop takes d4, white has an advantage after bishop takes h7, King takes, h, king takes h7 and queen takes to d4. This is a better position for white. And quick overview of this position. White's king is safer. White has a better minor piece. Bishop on c1, after it will be developed on b2, is very powerful. And white has more space. Obviously, we cannot go in detailed analysis of this position, but this position, uh, in this position, white has clear advantage. So now going back here, now there are a couple of other subtleties in this position. For instance, in, instead of playing bishop f6 in this position, black may go bishop g4. Now white goes f3, and now black may go bishop h5. Now, what, how do we play this? We go, we go again, b3. Now we are ready for knight before bishop b1 because pawn on c4 is not going to be hanging. And what white's plan is, eventually they're going to go d5. And, and after knight e5, bishop will go to c2, and white has comfortable space advantage and uh, a better game. Now, let's look at some tricky ways for black to prevent white from uh, stabilizing their position and um, getting a space advantage. There are some tricky ways for black to play. e4, knight f6, let's quickly get to the position. d4, knight d5, knight uh, d5, d4, d6, c4, knight b6, e d, e d knight c3, bishop e7, bishop d3. And here, they can play knight c6 first. Now, we will go knight e2. And here, also, knight b4 does not do much, does not do anything. Because after bishop b1, black cannot play knight takes c4 because of queen to a4 check. Winning a piece, but the tricky move order for black here is to play bishop to g4. Now, this bishop is pinning the knight on e2. And obviously, white cannot castle now because knight takes d4. So what white should do here, they should play f3. And now, black may play bishop h4 check. And you see that white is in check. We don't want to go g3 because bishop takes f3 and uh, white is in trouble because rook is hanging and after rook f1 or even castle, black simply plays 
bishop takes e2, queen takes e2, and bishop e7, where white does not have any compensation for missing pawn. So the correct way to play after bishop h4 check, this should not be discouraging for you to play king f1. That's a good move. Now, after bishop goes to h5, let's see what happened to this position. We have king on f1. That's true. Well, we rather have a king castled. But what, the, what does black have? Black has bishop on h4, which is, uh, mildly put, it's kind of uh, kind of stupid piece. And bishop on h5 doesn't do much either. So this bishop on h4 has to come back eventually. And how far is white from castling? They are not going to literally castle, but they can castle by hand eventually by playing g3 and king g2. So meanwhile, let's try to fi complete development for black. If they castle, what, what can we do here? We can go b3, and eventually white is going to go bishop e3, queen d2, and g3 and king f2 or king g2. White is still gonna have the same advantage in space and uh, black is gonna have some dysfunctional pieces like both bishops are dysfunctional and those knights especially one on b6 is uh, is uh, really needs a lot of improvement here so this position is also okay for white now this is if black recaptures ED. Now, the other recapture, that, that's the line I would recommend, and if you prefer some different lines, okay, you can pick them up from any, uh, some of the opening books. That's not necessarily, I want to say, that's not necessarily the best line, but this is comfortable line, that's one I use, and I would recommend you to play. Now, the other continuation is, after e5, d5, d4, d6, c4, knight, b6, e takes d, c takes d. Now here, this uh, position is uh, very well known and it's ages old. So white should go knight c3. This is the um, main move here. g6, that's how black should play. Now bishop e3. That's not the only way to play. That's not maybe even the main variation here. But that's the one I would choose every time I play against Alekhine defense. And I had good results, and um, I have great confidence in it. If I want to recommend uh, to play any line, that's the one it will be. So bishop g7, rook to c1, castle and pawn to b3. Now this is a typical position for um, CD recapture. Now there are two main moves. One is e5 for black and the other one is knight c6. I'm quite confident that white has uh, advantage in both continuations. Well, let's try and start in a with the knight c6. We should play d5. Knight to e5. And now, let's, let's analyze this position. Um, white is slightly behind in development, but as you can see, position is not open. The advantage white has in this position is in a pawn structure and absolutely bad piece, knight on b6. This is always problem for black. Now, what black did when, when you spend, make first three moves uh, with the same piece, like knight f6, knight d5, and knight b6, either first three moves or first uh, three out of four with the same piece, and piece ends up on b6. This is not the way uh, 
uh, is recommended to play game of chess. But when knight ends up on b6, and it's totally, totally smothered with white's pawn structure, and totally restricted, this position cannot be uh, good for black. So I would s simply recommend bishop e2, and no matter what black does here, knight f3 next move, People have played against me f5 and after knight f3, f4, but you simply go bishop d4 and you castle later and you put your rook on e1 and there is no matter what black does, you gonna make this happen. You're gonna castle, you're gonna put your rook on e1. Eventually, black's pieces gonna experience serious problem and advantage and controlling e-file for white and backward e7 pawn is going to take their toll. So this position is simply if, if black plays knight c6 is simply not good after d5, knight e5 and bishop e2 followed by knight f3. Actually there was a game uh, played by Anatoly Karpov and after f5 that was played, I, rec I like knight f3 move. And Anatoly Karpov, actually I covered this game in my previous uh, Roman Slab series, Karpov has played f4 and after knight g4 played bishop takes g4, f takes g and knight e2, which is also very good for white. And then again, if I had to give my personal recommendation, I would prefer bishop e2. But I'm sure you're going to take Karpov's recommendation, so I still have to say what I think is best. So bishop e2. So move was played by black in this, another move that can be played by black in this position is e5. So black is trying here to um, open position quickly before white's king side is developed and then they try to discomfort white uh, this way. So d takes e and d takes e. And now they, there are two moves for white. White must play c5 so they can play c5 right away or they can play queen takes d8 rook takes d8, and then c5. This continuation after exchange queens and c5 happened in my game against Lev Albert in US Championship. I got um, a very uh, big advantage uh, after the opening. Uh, so what would I recommend here? You go ahead and you can explore c5 and this is a good position, but my recommendation is queen takes d8, rook takes d8, c5, forcing knight to d7. That's the only move, since after knight, a, knight d5 and rook d1, black simply loses the game right away. Because on bishop e6, bishop c4, and pin on d5 is decisive. So after knight d7, White can play bishop c4, and after knight c6, knight f3, then they castle and they have sizable advantage. So there is a threat of knight g5 also has to be considered, and uh, the black is not very comfortable here. So on knight a5, possible bishop d5, and white has an advantage in every variation here. This is what I would recommend to play with white against Alekhine defense. This is Grandmaster Damien Lemos here for OnlineChessLessons.net. First of all, I hope you enjoyed um, this video. If you would like to receive more free chess videos from us, you can just click the subscribe button below. I would also highly recommend signing up for my free mail course, The 10 Grandmaster Secrets to Dominate Chess. During this exclusive course from OnlineChessLessons.net, I'll share with you my own Grandmaster shortcuts to effective attacking, 
defending and growth hacks to improving your chess without um, complicated books or memorization. So sign up by clicking the sidebar on the right and I know you won't be disappointed. Once more, this is Damien uh, for OnlineChessLessons.net and I'll see you um, in my videos. Thank you.